there are two big reasons why we believe the positioning and opportunity of Indonesia to become uh, the engine of the global halal economy. Number one is today, it's a fact, uh, Indonesia has the largest population in the world. But when you translate it into the consumption number, our report for the first time sized it to be $218 billion of domestic halal product consumption market in Indonesia. Which, becomes the, which is the largest halal consumer market in the world. That's one big. Second big reason is Indonesia today um, is the largest halal products producer in the Muslim world. Today, about $349 billion worth of halal products have been exported in 2017 as per the report. And this is based on global uh, trade data. Uh, out of $249 billion today, Indonesia's share in this export of $249 billion is currently only 3.3%. $7.6 billion. Uh, the biggest halal exporters in the world, the top nine in the world, and, and by the way, uh, Indonesia is ranked number 10 based on the 2017 numbers in terms of halal economy product exports because all sectors in terms of exports um, it's uh, on the product at number 10 the first nine countries are all non-muslim majority number one brazil mm -hmm. number two us mm -hmm. and then others uh, china uh, germany france top nine exporter of halal product country level non-muslim non the first muslim country which is number 10 is Indonesia. This is why we believe uh, Indonesia is justified to be called the engine of the global economy. So, <clears throat> when we look at the Thomson Reuters, the North Standard uh, Global Islamic Economy Indicator Ranking, it's based on a comprehensive methodology of uh, which countries have an overall strong Islamic economy ecosystem. And one of the cri important criteria given there is and more weight to that ranking is given to Islamic finance. Finance is the biggest weight. The biggest weight. So obviously, as you all know, uh, the penetration of Islamic finance in Indonesia is very low, 5-6% yeah, compared to other countries such as uh, Saudi Arabia uh, around 50 plus percent and the rest of GCC between 20 and 30 percent. Uh, Indonesia has strong exports like I said with the Muslim countries itself because exporters so should come up. However, its halal compliance mm -hmm. certification ecosystem is weak. Um, uh, but again the good news is that uh, the PP is uh, plan to implement within the next uh, few years or five years, I believe, uh, most of the halal certification ecosystem. Uh, I think that will strengthen Indonesia's potential. But uh, that's based on that indicator's criteria. Right? If we look at the different criteria, which is export growth, GDP growth, uh, domestic production. Uh, like we found out in the report, Indonesia is actually strongest in many areas compared to many other countries. From the halal economy point of view, and a very specific answer to this question as one of the strategies is Islamic uh, Sharia banks and Sharia investment entities in Indonesia should really look at engaging the halal economy sector. Uh, the halal uh, products economy sector have working capital needs, Sharia compliant, they have trade financing need, they have Sharia compliant, they have corporate uh, investment or uh, 
SME financing. This is a whole asset class for Sharia banks to really look at this market, which is going to be growing significantly, and our numbers show that in the report. Our estimate is that this halal economy product sectors can contribute and grow the Islamic finance market penetration to up to 20%. Thank you.